Good protection. I definitely blacked out. Out in the flat. Lavender loses the football. It was, uh, I was actually playing defensive back, and I jumped up and landed on the back of my neck. And uh, I definitely backed out, and I, I remember myself couldn't move, really. At the 30-yard line, and let's go back down the field. Latimer is down. When I came back the next day trying to do things that I would normally do on a regular football day, I couldn't do. Like, my eyes, they, they just hurt real bad. My head hurt. So anything that I did, I had to wear shades. And I feel like it took an impact on my career, most definitely a developer, because it took me out for a week. These football players, like many other athletes at the NFL Veterans Combine, have been hit hard with concussions in their past. But they are still here to get back into the very sport that caused that injury. For them, the risk of harm may be worth the reward of being able to play on Sundays. It is very risky. And I mean, the risk, I feel like everybody pretty much knows the risk that you're taking, you know, with, with a brain injury. And I don't think anybody intentionally wants that to happen, you know, but, but at the same time, I feel like it's an opportunity for me as far as, you know, with me having a family. It's definitely a, a high, a high, a high risk, high reward type situation, right? You know, the, you know, the risk of you getting injury is very, very high. Uh, but, you know, you get paid very well and not very few people make it to that high level. But the NFL aren't the only ones having to deal with concussions. Nearly 47% of all sports concussions come from high school football, 33% of those happening during practice. Some high schools in the area, like Desert Vista High School in Ahwatukee, are now trying to focus on balancing safety and preparing their players for Friday nights. We do try to keep safety first. I, I do anyway. I try to keep safety first in my mind because if I'm doing a lot of contact in practice and I get a kid injured on a Wednesday, I personally feel like I'm the dumbest coach in America because I just got my kid hurt during the week. And so that's how I justify not doing a lot of contact during the week is because we want to try to get them ready for Friday nights. I always tell my guys perfect practice makes perfect. You know, not practice, you can practice till you're blue in the face. If it's not perfect reps, then guess what? Whatever you're doing, whether it's proper technique or proper form, you know, it has to be executed at a, at a high level, at a correct level, you know. And so uh, for me and, and at Desert Vista where I coach at, you know, we, we over and over and over technique and form to prevent injuries. We don't want to see these young guys get hurt. We don't want to see them get concussions and they can be prevented. From high school football to the highest level of professional football in the NFL, concussions are a safety risk that have become the forefront of the sport. For coaches and players, they hope as technology and education on the subject advances, the sport they love will be safer for the future generations. In Phoenix, for Cronkite News, I'm Rebecca Wynn.